This is going to be a video showing you how to fix a Plex driver on DSM-7. We had a DSM-6 version available, how to fix that on DS920 and other models. Since DSM-7 soon is going to replace DSM-6 completely, people are asking how to fix it on a new OS. So I'm going to guide you through it's slightly, slightly different. Because on DSM-6 he used to be on the folder level, on DSM-7 is like more like uh, in OS level, that's the location of Plex where it's uh, stored. So these are the pixels you normally probably are seeing and you want to get rid of. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So first what we will need to do is we will need to go to um, your Synology DSM. So you know how to get in the Synology, you will need to use either Synology Assistant or if you have IP already known you go directly into it. So double click 105 in this case. <clears throat> you need to go to Control Panel, Terminal, and Enable SSH Service, and click Apply. Uh, after, after you have enabled that, you will need to go into S SSH. So there are two ways of uh, getting in your SSH. Um, one, one in, if you're using Mac, you can just do Search Terminal. If you're using a Mac uh, Windows system, you can download uh, something called Putty. Uh, this is this is how it looks like. This is Putty, and um, go and follow the same uh, commands what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So in this case, we are going to be using uh, Mac. Um, here's on the right hand side the put commands there, the little guide manual which you can uh, use. <clears throat> to, to simplify, if you want to jump the steps, you can just use that um, guide. So first of all, like I was saying, enable your SSH, then uh, open your terminal or P2 on Windows, and then you'll need to go into your NAS. So the command would be SSH um, and the IP address of your of your NAS. So in this case, I got SSH ten. 04105 and hit enter. It's going to ask for your password. If you get the password right, you'll get into your NAS. Then, afterwards, when you have uh, logged into your NAS, you're going to be uh, logged in as admin, but Plex folder uh, has um, it will require root access rights to actually be able to edit a file so you need to change from um, this username to root so you can do that by making a uh, writing down the command sudo i uh, and then type in the password you just typed in for the admin so if you do that you will be switched to root which gives you um, superior user rights and commands you can you can actually execute and go into any folder you want to. So once you have done that, you can um, go to root folder by cd space slash. Once you have done that, you you will need to uh, find your Plex server. So if you have if you're using Synology, you can simply pay, copy paste this command. It's going to go to via packages Plex Media Server Home. If you are not using Synology or QNAP or other, then you can use uh, this command, which is find name Plex Media Server. So it's going to show you where exactly Media Server lives. So since I know where it is, I can just copy this command. You can do the same thing. So you go to um, location versus Media Server, and then you copy another line, which is Plex Media Server. You couldn't make this in one command because it adds actually apostrophes uh, to be able to get into that com uh, location. So once you have pasted these, you will find, uh, if you do the ls for example, you will see all the folders and files living in that Plex Media Server um, location. And what you will need to do, you will need to edit preferences, XML. So that's what you do, you paste the command and Presenter. If you've been editing this uh, file before, you might uh, be presented with options like do you want to edit, do you want to overwrite. So in this case, we're going to do 
edit anyway, press E if you get that notification. If you don't, you just jump in. I already changed this file, but if you wanna, once you're gonna be doing this, you won't have these changes done already. So you'll need to uh, jump to the end of the file. To do that, you can use shift and dollar sign. So it's gonna, then you press down, arrow down button to go to the bottom. Uh, then you can switch to editing mode. To do that on Mac, you will need to press I button on the keyboard and you'll see at the bottom there's, it's going to change to insert. And then you can use your arrows and type in uh, at the end this VAAPI driver equals I965. Once you have typed this one in, at the, at the back, at the, at like at the tail end of this command, then you can uh, press exit, escape button just going to end the uh, edit mode and uh, once you have done that you will need to save this file so to save this file you will need to press shift and z and z again like doubles you need to press twice the z, the z button while you're holding shift button and once you have done that you can reboot your server by uh, typing command reboot and this this is it, it's gonna reboot your server, your Synology, so give it two or three minutes until it beeps and then you can go back um, and enjoy your Plex with a new driver enabled by default, which should uh, fix your pixelating problems. I hope this video was helpful and if you got any questions, you can always go to NAS Compares, fill the form. And uh, if the question will be interesting, we can uh, make a video like this so we can help you and we can help others as well. Cheerio.